Hey bees, I'm Marie from Humble Bee and Me, and today we are going to make a super simple but very effective leather balm. So this is for leather, obviously, um, not patent leather, but sort of more like rougher, full grain leathers where, you know, they start to get to feel a little bit dry, or a little bit dusty and lose a bit of their suppleness and gleam. And so that is when you go in and you balm up your leather. So I usually use this for boots because I have a lot of leather boots and they you know, I tend to wear them in the fall and the winter here in Calgary and with the salt that people put on their sidewalks, it can be quite difficult on them. So giving them a good clean and then a good sort of polishing and buffing up in this leather balm is a really fantastic way to really restore your leather and extend its life. So come on, let's get started. As promised, this leather balm is crazy easy to make. So we're actually going to weigh all of our ingredients into this mason jar and then use this as a container we'll both make the balm in and store it in. So in here I have some bits and shreds of some lovely unrefined golden beeswax, since so we're going to need 10 grams of this. We also need 10 grams of cocoa butter, so terrier scale. And then 20 grams of a liquid oil. So this is safflower oil, but you could use pretty much any kind of inexpensive uh, not too thick or greasy liquid oil. So safflower oil, sunflower oil, canola oil, olive oil, sweet almond oil, all great options. A little bit more than I wanted, but that's okay. This recipe is pretty forgiving within a couple of grams. So here I have a small saucepan and there's about two centimeters of water in there, like two thirds of an inch. I'm just going to pop this in here and we are going to go put this on the stovetop over medium low heat for about half an hour to melt everything through and make sure you give it a little stir with a spatula every now and then to help it along. So it's been about half an hour, everything is melted through. You can pull that out of there, give it a good stir, scrape around the sides, scrape off your spatula. And now we're just going to leave that to solidify. That'll probably take about 20 to 30 minutes. So here I have a pair of fry boots that I wear absolutely all the time and I've never polished them before, even though I've had them for a few years as the heels kind of indicate. I should get those re-heeled. Re so we're gonna test out our polish on these. So here it is, it's set up. Um, it's quite firm. The top is the firmest part, but I, I can kind of press my thumb through there, but it is quite firm, which is good because you want a fairly small amount of this spread out across the surface of the leather. So as you start to massage it in, you'll notice the leather starts to darken as it hydrates and it should start feeling a little bit, a little bit more supple. These are definitely starting to feel a little, a little dusty. And there's your before and after. You can definitely see that the leather balm really makes your leather appear a lot richer and it definitely feels a lot happier. This leather feels kind of dry and it's a little waxy feeling, but this feels wonderful and soft and supple. So there you go. You just made some homemade leather balm. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and check the description box below for the full written recipe with the amounts in metric and imperial and links to everything I used as well as the recipe on my blog. See you next time.